But if I look at the current level of stock prices, which in my judgment are at a discount to fair value, I think if we're talking about the next year, which is about all I can see, I think we're talking closer to something like 8.5%. So I think we've got room to go on the upside. But once we get, Tyler, in my view, when I do the numbers, to the first quarter of 2020, I think interest rates will be at a level that will give us real problems. And I think at that point, we might have to say we're ready for uh, we're going to have a bear market that will be accompanied by a recession. So for Very now, Very interesting. So you, implicit in what you just said, Hugh, is the idea that the Fed is nowhere close to being finished raising interest rates. Yeah, I'd say that's absolutely true. I think until we get up to about 3% on the federal funds rate, I think that's when we start to run into trouble. And remember, when the Fed's at 3% on the federal funds rate, all other interest rates across the board will be moving a little bit higher. Not significantly higher from current levels, but when we do move a little bit higher, at some point we'll run into trouble, particularly when the growth rate of earnings, as you know, is slowing down. So that combination, higher interest rates, slower growth in earnings, will give us real problems, but not until the first quarter of 2020, Art, a, a, as I a, do the numbers. A fairly provocative, against-the-grain thought there from Hugh about uh, the direction of interest rates, how soon, how high we may get there, and what the consequence would be, namely, that we would be staring in the first quarter of 2020 at the, at the potential for a recession. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I, I agree with most of what Hugh just said, and, I, and in large part I always agree with what Hugh says. I think when we think about the pace of, of uh, interest rates in the, in, for the balance of 2019, I think a lot is predicated on how much global growth picks up with the trade deal consummation, right? If we can put a trade headwind behind us, heaven forbid a Brexit headwind behind us, and the government stays open in the first half of this year, I think a lot of what has kept the Fed on the sidelines has been a slower global economy. If the economy were to pick up in the back half of this year and all of those headwinds become tailwinds, I think the Fed could actually raise rates before the end of 19, and I think it would be the right thing to do. In terms of predicting... Would it be risk, one or two hikes? Because what I, what I heard, Hugh, maybe you can correct me, Hugh, I heard implicit in what Hugh said that there would be two hikes of roughly a half point. I think um, I'm, I would say one hike, and I think that's the rate of neutral. I think that's about where we're going to get. My guess is there's a chance that the balance sheet runoff gets put on hold before they raise again. I think that may be the first step that they take, and, and, and take that off autopilot, maybe go to a, 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 a pause but, there. But for the next year, Hugh, you're comfortable owning stocks. Well, yeah, just for the next year. I'm never comfortable when you're talking about we're at the 120-month mark of a bull market, and it's the longest bull market in history. So you never can feel entirely comfortable. But as I do all the numbers, I put interest rates together with the kind of earnings I think we're going to be getting for the next year, I'm comfortable. But I'll be honest with you, I'm obviously crossing my fingers very tightly. Hugh, before we go, I want to ask you about China and how important, you know, as we watch the major China-sensitive names doing well today, you know, what do you think of prospects for a March 1 deal? How important is that? Uh, you're not going to get a deal by March 1st. Now, that's my guess. It's more than a guess. It's, it's looking closely. It's what's being said. I think what's going to happen, there's no way they can do a deal by March 1st. They don't even have the paperwork together. But I think that the president pretty clearly told you or telegraphed today that they're going to postpone any increase in tariffs from 10% to 25%. They're going to postpone that probably till the end of March. And by the end of March, we'll probably have two things happen. We'll probably have a deal at least the outline of a deal or most of the deal, and we'll also have a meeting between uh, the president and the premier of China. So I think that we're really going to be putting things off to the end of March, and I think that's why you've got the big rally here. He obviously, both the Chinese want a deal done, they need a deal to get done, and President Trump really needs a deal to get done when we're looking at the 2020 election. So we need this deal. He knows he needs the deal, so I think we'll get it, but it'll be a bit later than March 1st. So